Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I want to talk about right now is division by one digit numbers with no remainder. Okay? Before we begin with division, I want to state what division is. Okay? Division is going to be for us the opposite of multiplication. Okay? So, every multiplication fact we know will become a division fact. Okay? Let me explain what I mean. We know, for example, that if I take 9 times 3, I get 27. And what this tells us is that if I divide 27 by 3, I'll get 9. Or alternatively, if I were to divide 27 by 9, I would get 3. Now, these, these statements will be written like this. I could say 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Why? Because 3 times 9 is 27. Okay? So in that sense, division is the opposite of multiplication. By the same reason, 27 divided by 3 is 9. Because again, 9 times 3 is 27. Now, one of the notations we're going to use a lot um, whenever we're doing division is going to be like this. So we could re we could also express this with the following notation. We will make our long division house, which we're going to do later. We're going to do long division. And so in the first two examples, we're going to be doing um, examples that come from the multiplication table. So we won't need to write this. Uh, so we won't need to write this, I'm sorry. But I want to start writing that notation so you can be familiar with both notations, okay? So for example, the number here you're going to put inside the house. The number you're dividing by will I call it the house. And so I ask, and so the way we're going to present this question is, can nine go into two? And it cannot because nine is too big. Nine is bigger than two, right? So the next question would become, can nine go into twenty-seven? And again, because we know this multiplication fact, nine times three equals twenty-seven, we would write three and we would place it there. Okay. 3 times 9 is 27, and you can see if I subtract these, I get 0, okay? Because we know that uh, that uh, 27, divides, uh, 20, 20, 27 divided by 9 is 3 exactly, okay? Because of this multiplication fact, okay? Okay. So, th so, so uh, let me just briefly recap this for us. So I want to recap here as follows. The division is the opposite of multiplication. So here we saw 9 times 3 was 27. And so the opposite of that would be if I take 27 and, and I divide it by 9, I will get 3. And if I were to get the 27 and I were to divide it by 3, I would get 9. Why? Because in this first example, 3 times 9 is 27. And in the second example, because 9 times 3 is 27. Okay. And second of all, just like we saw in this example here, every multiplication fact can be interpreted as a division fact. So when you have your multiplication table memorized, all like all those multiplication uh, facts, we can now use them to solve simple division problems. And now let's do some examples. 